Hello guys, welcome to this course. In this lesson, we will be studying more about mitochondria. I have already explained uh, some basic aspects of uh, mitochondria in my previous lesson like uh, the structure and functions of mitochondria. If you have not seen it, uh, you should refer to that first. Okay, so this course is presented by me, Navneet Sharma. You can know more about me from here. You can follow me on this link. And if you like the lesson, kindly rate, review and recommend. Okay. Uh, beginning with the lesson, uh, first of all, we will be studying the biogenesis of mitochondria. There are three uh, theories related to the biogenesis of mitochondria. Firstly, Luck stated that the free existing mitochondria will elongate and divide, and new mitochondria are formed, like the binary fission. Okay, uh, Morrison stated that mitochondria arise from either plasma membrane or endoplasmic reticulum. Uh, as it lies close to them in the cytoplasm the other theories that uh, many scientists believe on in the cytoplasm small particles may be present which are called as pro mitochondria they may give rise to mitochondria okay uh, then we, we, we will be studying the origin of mitochondria uh, the mitochondria's semi-autonomous or prokaryotic origin in 1890s Alkman suggested that mitochondria and chloroplast may be intracellular parasites of the cells which have entered the cytoplasm of eukaryotic cell and they live as symbionts. Hence, Alkman called them as bioplats. Okay, so based on a few observations, he, he gave us this theory which were which are in bacteria and mitochondria both. The electron transport system is present in plasma membrane and in inner membrane respectively. The bacterial plasma membrane shows mesosomes. Mitochondrial cristae can be compared with them. Okay. Uh, both bacteria and mitochondria will show the circular DNA. <laughs> okay. And in both bacteria and mitochondria, ribosomes are reported. Uh, both bacteria and mitochondria will produce uh, ATP and RNA. As it has the circular DNA, it will produce RNA and it, uh, it will then produce the proteins. Hence, we consider that mitochondria might have originated from the bacterial cell. But it is not a parasite living inside the eukaryotic cell, okay? Because uh, uh, it, uh, the mitochondria is found in mostly every uh, every eukaryotic cell so it is not possible that uh, uh, bacterial parasite just entered into the uh, every eukaryotic cell of uh, every living being and uh, it just performing its, its functions without harming it okay so it might have originated from it but it is uh, not a bacteria in the cell mitochondria will function as the semi-autonomous body okay uh, why it functions as semi-autonomous body because it has its own DNA okay it is the ma major reason why, why it is functioning as the semi-autonomous body uh, because of having its own DNA it can perform its own uh, vital functions like uh, giving rise to the proteins okay uh, again you should look at the, di uh, at the diagram of origin of mitochondria according to the theory which Alkman gave okay Chemical composition. Mitochondria contain 73% of proteins, 25 to 30% of lipids, 5% of RNA, and small amounts of DNA. Okay, uh, these enzyme complex, uh, the enzyme complexes are more. The lipids contain 90% phospholipids, cholesterol, carotenoids, etc. The enzymes in 1969. Leninger gave the account system account of enzymes in mitochondria. Enzymes of the outer membrane of mitochondria are monomine oxidase enzyme, fatty acid activating enzymes. The enzymes of outer membrane of uh, mitochondria, uh, sorry, outer chamber of mitochondria are adenylate kinase and uh, nucosite uh, diphosphokinase. Enzymes of inner membrane. In the inner membrane, electron transport enzymes are present. They are cytochromes, flavor proteins, 
dehydrogenases etc uh which which include atp synthetase oxidase keratinine uh, keratinine fatty acid acyl transferase etc enzymes are also present now the enzymes of matrix these enzyme systems belong to krebs cycle and fatty acid cycle uh, which are fumarase acronitase uh, citrate synthetase etc elementary particles on the inner membrane of the mitochondrion stocked particles are present they are called as f or elementary particles f particles or elementary particles okay they are equidistantly placed each particle shows a stalk and a headpiece the stalk is uh, approximately 50 angstrom in length the head is approximately 100 angstrom in uh, the distance between two particles is approximately 100 angstrom the headpiece contains enzymes of atp system and bring oxidative phosphorylation hence they are called as oxisomes okay uh, respiratory chains respiratory chain contains a series of complex proteins and electron carriers these electron carriers are represented by four complexes complex one it contains flavoprotein of nadh dehydrogenase it contains non hemorrhone which combine with the protein it receives a hydrogen from nadh uh, next we have the complex two it contains flavor protein of succinic dehydrogenase it is uh, it receives a hydrogen from succinic dehydrogenase uh, next is uh, complex third it contains cytochrome b1 and cytochrome c1 okay it is uh, somewhat difficult to remember the names of all of them if you have if you are listening to this first time okay but if you will uh, Try to by heart them and if you watch this lesson again and again or write it down, you will be easily able to write them. Okay. Uh, next we have the complex fourth. It contains uh, cytochrome A1 and the cytochrome A3. Okay. Uh, now these complexes are connected by ubinoquinone. Okay. Ubinoquinone is the connecting uh, link of these complexes. Cytochrome C will be present. Ubinoquinone connects complex 1, 2 and 3. Cytochrome C will connect complex 3, 8, 4. The respiratory chain is proposed by uh, Mokinen and Green and Bohm in 1970s. Okay. So the mitochondria is finished here. That is the lesson about mitochondria is finished here. So I hope you guys like the lesson. Uh, I'll be adding some more lessons on the cell organelles. So... Keep learning and have a good day. Thank you.